Hi everyone. Here is your tour of 31 Today. So 31 Today is your main site for ordering, marketing, general information, all that good stuff. But there's a lot of information on there. So I want to give you a quick tour of kind of the highlights. So you're going to log in with your consultant ID and the password that you created when you enrolled. So on the main page, it can be kind of overwhelming. So I'm going to give you the highlights. Here are some must-haves. First off, if you haven't downloaded the app, download it. It's so easy to use. It's on your phone, your iPad, and so it's really easy to add to an order or submit an order um, from anywhere. And I'm going to do a separate video kind of showing you how to navigate that. Because it, I mean, it's very user-friendly, but there's always a couple little tricks to make it a little easier. So the virtual office I'm going to get through, get into in detail, but a little bit later. With reports, if you're just starting off, you really don't need this, but if you start recruiting a few people, then reports are pretty handy. Marketing is where you're going to spend a good amount of time. This is where we get all our goodies. So you can see there's November, December, and January. There's not generally a whole lot for the next months coming up, but there's usually a few things in there. Here are all the various events and things happening. There's our gift sets happening right now. There's our holiday sale. We have a gobble them up event coming. So lots of things happening here. My favorites are the general fall marketing material. And this is where we get a lot of resources. So there's our full catalog, Canadian pricing, product and personalization guide. There's a ton of stuff on here, right? Lots and lots of stuff. And so you can spend lots of time here. Uh, these are also great videos to share with your customers um, because they're YouTube. So it's easy to copy and paste and they're really kind of short and sweet. The biggest thing I find is with this stuff, it helps me kind of get ideas of what suggestions to make to my customers. Because I know I won't buy anything unless I know kind of what I'm going to use it for. So that's where I get a lot of my ideas. And that and a couple of really great Facebook groups. This is our playbook, right? Our November marketing material. So our playbook is kind of our one-stop shop. So this has our dates in it. It even here is listing our December and January insider specials. So it's kind of telling us what's coming up so that when we start booking parties for next month and the month after, we can say, hey, in December, this is what you're gonna get. So there's lots of really great information in here. It's pretty straightforward. Um, there's lots of hints about getting new hostesses, new insiders, same thing. Um, even recruiting, coaching information. And then here's some of the dates for what's happening. And then some graphics as well. So lots of great information here. And I'm gonna go back. So there's our November customer special. So it hasn't changed in a little while. Um, it's very popular, right? It's spend $60 in Canada and get a half price item. Um, I find my customers love this because they pick up a few little things and then they get half off of an adventure backpack or something that's kind of well over a hundred bucks. Then there's our insider specials. So these are for our hostesses. So if your party is 500 um, or over, you can choose one product at 60% off. And if it's a thousand, you get two products, 60% off. And then there again is some graphics. And the graphics here are really good. Um, however, there's some really great Facebook groups where they make kind of customized graphics with lots of different ideas. And so I always go to the Facebook groups as well. If we look at the navigation on the side again, you see there's business support. So there's lots of information here. I'm not gonna go through it all, um, but one little thing, if you're getting started and you like some um, business cards or uh, just different things, you can come in here. I went to Vistaprint and I got business cards and sticky notes um, and I don't think it cost me $30. These do generally go on sale regularly. And so just keep an eye because 31 will send you a message. It's always nice to get it half price or you know some kind of discount. For programs and events, Here's our Punta Cana trip that we're earning for right now. The biggest thing for new consultants is going to be the AMP Jumpstart. So AMP Jumpstart is kind of adding to the benefits of being a new consultant by giving you incentives for your first 90 days. 
So in your first 30 days, if you sell at least $500, which really should be your launch party, right? Hopefully a little more than that. But if we get $500 in our first 30 days, we get this around the clock thermal for free. In our first 90 days, we have other benchmarks to reach. So there's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. So depending on what kind of consultant you want to be, whether this is really going to be, you know, a key source of income for you, or whether this is just a fun hobby on the side with a little bit of play money, this will kind of determine what your goals are for the first 90 days. But I really would encourage you to work with your sponsor, whether that's me or someone else, and kind of work with them to make your goals, right? What do you want to aim for? Personally, that high street backpack is gorgeous and I love it. Um, and the wheels to wander duffel is wonderful. So if you, you know, have the idea that, hey, I'm going to work it real hard for a couple of months and try and earn these, then that's great. Plus, it'll give you a customer base to kind of give you a bit of consistent income moving forward. And those bags are gorgeous and for free. Why not? Right. So this will show you what you get at each benchmark. So at $1,000, it's your mini duffel. At $2,000, it's the modern tote. $3,000, it's that high street backpack. And at $4,000, it's the wheels to wander duffel. So lots of really great products and for free. If we come back up, you'll see that there's recognition. So these are our different levels. And so you can see that there's consultants, senior consultant, director, senior director, etc. And so if you're interested in moving up in leadership, if you click each one, it'll kind of show you where you're at. So for consultant, it's just yourself and there's no minimum monthly volume. However, you must submit $200 in sales, a personal volume, during each rolling three month period. So you don't need $200 in sales per month, but you do have to have a total of 200 over three months. As a senior consultant, you need to have at least two PICAs, which are people that you recruited that have sold at least $1,000 and are active. And at this level, you start getting an additional 2% on anything that they sell. If you keep going, you can get to director. And for director, you have to have $1,000 in personal volume per month yourself. And your team has to have $4,000 in personal volume. And you have to have four people under you that have sold at least $1,000. And then it goes up from there. So it kind of shows you where you can go if this is something you're interested in. With the resource library, there's a lot of great stuff on here. So sales know-how, business basics, leading a team, on and on and on. And in each of these categories, there's lots of great information. And then there's learn, underlearn. The show up and share, I find really helpful because it's other consultants sharing their ideas and what worked for them. So all of these are really great. Again, don't be bogged down by all this stuff. I know when I first started this, I felt like I had to read every article on here, watch every video on here, and it's just really not going to be in your best interest, right? Pick away at it if you're interested. So I'm back on the home page just to show you a little bit about the right-hand side. Um, this is a quick and easy access. And so a couple of the big things here, notifications, pretty straightforward. Marketing, so you can get to your marketing right here. The business update link. So on this page, you're going to use it quite a bit because it'll show you our current shipping status the shipping standards, product availability, so our low inventory items, our back ordered items, and then our discontinued items. So if you see something on here that is low inventory, it's certainly something that you should put in sooner rather than later, because if they move to discontinued, you'll no longer have access to them. And if they're on back ordered, you're not sure when they're gonna arrive. So this link I use a lot. You can get to this as well on the app by going to reports and item availability. Your playbook is right here. Your new consultant toolkit is here. Now in here, you're gonna follow different steps. Again, there's a lot of information here. If you wanna kind of play at it, but not deep dive, it might be a good way to start. But lots of resources. And then you can also just straightforward place an order. 
So this automatically bring you, brings you into your virtual office and right to the order tab. So it's kind of a quick and easy shortcut. So I'm gonna click home again. That's my virtual office, but I wanna go back to the actual TOT page. Last thing I'm gonna show you here is that here's your month at a glance. So this is your personal volume for the month. Uh, zero last year, because I'm new, I haven't done a full year yet. Month compared to last, our three month rolling PV. Again, this is important because you need to have at least $200 in three month rolling PV in order to stay active. So this does not mean you have to maintain $200 per month. It means you have to have $200 total. And you can see there's different actions here and whys. There's also the tracking here for our incentive trip, which is our Pune Canada trip for 2022. All right, so now for the big deal. Now we're gonna go to virtual office. So this is really where all the magic happens. So in here, we can open new parties, start new orders, we can submit returns if we need to, and on and on. So at the first landing page, you see your period statistics and the various updates. I'm going to go to parties. And you can see I have a number of parties open right now. And this is where I would create a new party. And the new parties are pretty straightforward. The only one thing I want to show you, which is something that um, my sponsor showed me, uh, and it's a really great tip, is when you set this up, the party itself can last, it can be spanned over two calendar months. So if I start a party today, it would have to close by December 30th, 31st, I guess. Same thing if I started it December 1st, I could run it until January 30th. And so keep in mind, it's not 60 days, it's calendar days. So even if I started it November 30th, I'd still only have until the end of December to submit that party and get those hostess rewards. Because we really want to make sure that we're not missing out on any of those hostess rewards whether we're hosting the party ourselves or whether it's for a client. So I'm going to choose the end of December. So who's hosting? I'm just going to choose myself for now because it's not a real party. And save and continue. So on this page, you see a lot of information. I want you to focus on one thing right now, and that's party ship to selection. So it's defaulted to ship to the insider, which is the hostess of the party. But I want you to change it and instead choose direct ship only. This will allow your customers to send you an order, right? If they're ordering through you for a bulk order, which is what I do, I have my customers, if they're local, send me what they want to order, right? I put everything in, it'll save on shipping. And because we have that special that we spend 60, get a half off, if I have two orders that are $30, that generates a half off coupon that I can offer back to those two customers and maybe they'll buy a $100 item and that just bumped my PB up by 50 bucks and gave them a great deal. So I do that bulk ordering consistently in all my parties, right? As long as they're local, that's what I do. Even if they're not local, if you know I'm in New Brunswick and my hostess is in Alberta, right? I have her be the main person for the bulk order. All the orders go to her and she can distribute them as long as it's okay with her. But basically what that does is it saves everyone shipping. And so with direct ship only, I can put multiple orders in and send them. If I have ship to insider, it means everything shipped at the end of the party, right? And that's not necessarily ideal because if things are on low inventory, you wanna get that order in right away. You don't want to wait. The rest of the information is pretty straightforward. The other big thing is right here. Here's your party link. So this is the direct link to the party on your customer page. So if, an, if you take this and you put it on Facebook or Instagram, if someone clicks there, it'll take it to your shopping page, right? To your customer page, but it'll link it directly to this party. So, the Insider tab is just telling me about the Insider, right? There's the address, all that stuff. So we do have an Insider portal. 
So this is for your hostess to log in and she can see the sales coming in. She can see that her credit's building. So some consultants use this a lot. I admittedly don't use it. Um, I find I do like to work one-on-one -on -one with my hostesses quite a bit. However, as I move forward, I probably will at least send the information to my insider um, because then they're going to be able to log in and see if they want to. Uh, for the most part, I find my hostesses want kind of one-on-one -on -one, uh, guidance kind of through that process of choosing their rewards. So I'm going to skip right to orders. So with this party, notice how I'm on the guest tab. And so I'm going to create a new order. So I'm going to make it just for myself. This is all fake. It's a party order and this is the person who's ordering it. And I'm going to save and continue. So now I just choose whatever I want, right? Let's say I want a whole bunch of essential storage totes, right? Click get started and choose whatever patterns you want and add to cart. This is also where you would personalize. And I will show you just one because uh, it's kind of intimidating to start with, but it's really user friendly. So I'm just going to choose the first one. So once you choose that, if you scroll down to the bottom of this part, right, you can see choose text and color. And I can choose whether it's kind of fluorescent pink, which obviously doesn't look great. <laughs> but you can choose whatever you want here. So if you have a customer and this is what I always do because I put in the orders, unless they're ordering directly, I always kind of mock it up like this and I download my image and then I always send it to the customer before I submit. Um, it's been a few times, not that often, but every now and then I'll mock it up and I'll send it to them. And they're like, well, no, it's supposed to be a W instead of a T or it's the wrong shade of pink or, or whatever. And so it's always good to do this. But once you hit this point, just make sure you click save and add to cart at the end. So because I have two chosen here, it's going to automatically bring me to the second one. So I'm just going to stick an apple on this one. So with this one, what I want to show you is that you can choose the design color. So I'm going to choose that the apple is bright blue, right? And I'm just going to add another line. And I'm going to say Sarah. So I can also choose the color of my text. And I can choose what kind of font I want to use. So very easy, very straightforward. And honestly, just come in here and play. I have a lot of fun with this. I'm not generally an overly creative person, but I do have fun creating this stuff. And I'm gonna click add to cart. So now I have a lot of storage toads in here. So I'm gonna click on this, All right? I'm gonna go to my cart, there we go. So with this, what I have, is 66 of these. Now you'll notice over here, my cart qualifies for seven half off items, zero of seven are added. The nice thing is if I come in here and let's say I want, you know, the modern tote for $104. If I add that to the cart, it automatically takes half off. So let's say I add six more of them, right? Cause we know we have five half or seven half offs. Now, when I come in, you can see each one of those totes is automatically discounted. So I'm just going to show you one more thing. And that is if I add an item that's more expensive, like that beautiful high street backpack that I love, when you go to your, your cart, it automatically discounts the most expensive thing. So where this was discounted before, this is now regular price and the more expensive backpack is discounted. So in this situation, if these were all of the orders from the party, again, I would look up at the top and I would see, okay, I have seven of eight half price items added. Uh, and so I need to add another item. So you may be thinking, why isn't this di discounted? But this full price must be helping to generate that additional half off. So if I come in and I add uh, Benjamin, I love that ruby red, right? Now, if I go back in here, you'll notice the Benjamin wasn't discounted, 
because it is less expensive than that last modern tote that was full price. So now I've just added enough items so that I'm at $1,000. So what I wanna do now is come back to the party and I'm gonna to go to Insider. And now what you see is I'm still on orders, right? So because there's $1,000 in unsubmitted PV, so you can't submit this until you submit the other orders and they're paid for, obviously, because right now they're just sitting in my cart as my wish list. But you can see here, you have insider credits of $200, you have insider free exclusives for two, and then half price, and then your special. So this will change month to month. The credits and the exclusives don't change, at least until February, but the other two will. So I would click Create Insider Order. So in here, the insider can choose whatever they want, and then it'll be determined what they pay. So let's say they want the all pack duffel. If I go to Add to Cart, it's going to ask me how I want to do it. So do I want to use the half price? Do I want to use the insider special? And so the insider special for this month is two 60% off coupons when you have a $1,000 party. Or do I want to use my insider credit? So maybe I want to use some of my insider credit and pay $0. And so you can see it up here. Now, if I wanted to add another one, you'll see there's $96 remaining. So I'm only paying $8. So if I wanted two really large items, I'd probably do that, right? Especially have that much for um, credit. So if I'm shopping for a thermal, so let's go with a fresh market. And we'll go with Buffalo plaid and I'll add that to the cart. Again, it's gonna pop up the option of how I wanna do it. Do I wanna use my half price or do I wanna use my 60%? And I'll use my 60%. So I'm going to pay $25.60. So as you go through this and you build the hostess order, you'll see uh, the cart kind of fill up. But you'll also see that they could go for retail shopping. And so this will add to your PV, right, to their personal volume, which is over here. And you can see the inside of reward base. As you add kind of $8 here, you can see there's an $8 difference here. So their insider credits when they're spending money and getting their half offs or what have you, um, it will add to your personal volume, but it's not going to add to their reward base. So here's your party over here too, right? So this is your 60% off, there's your half offs, and here's your exclusives. So with your exclusives, if you have a $200 party, you will you can purchase any of these, but it is purchase. If you hit $1,000, which is always my goal for a party, um, they get them for free. So it's a really great incentive to kind of push them to that $1,000 level because some of these items are, are pretty substantial. Uh, the Wheels to Wonder duffel is valued at over $250. Uh, and I have one of these and I love it, especially in that shades of chevron. Uh, and so here you can personalize it, but it just goes on the luggage tag. But these are beautiful, beautiful items. So I'm going to go back. So again, they get two here and they would get them for free. They cannot pick the same thing twice. They do have to pick two different things. Personally, I love the Cart and Go Thermal. It has two big thermal compartments. Uh, the Mystery Hostess Bundle is always very popular, especially if they're paying for it. It's $38 right now, but I think there's over $85 in value. It used to be 85, that's 90 now. And so the Ultimate Organizing Tote, is fantastic as well. It's like a Cindy tote, except it has, you can see the zippered pouch right there. So you can slide that over handle of a rolling piece of luggage. Uh, inside there's three full compartments. One is thermally lined for lunch. The other one is padded for a laptop. Then you still have that really large center compartment. It's a great idea for anyone who's traveling and the charcoal gray would be great for anybody. So let's say she wants to go with a cart and go, cart and go thermal. So I'm just going to add that to my cart. And I'll come back. And add a Wheels to Wonder Duffel. So 
So now when I go to the hostess order, you'll see that our credits are used up. There's zero remaining. My insider exclusives, there's zero remaining. Down here, I still have two half off coupons and one 60% off coupon. Now, sometimes I have hostesses that don't want to use their half offs because they've kind of spent their limit already. So then as long as it's okay with her, I go back to the party and I offer those half off or 60% off coupons to everyone at the party if they ordered. So anyone who ordered first, they, are the, they get first dibs. If no one wants it, or if there's still a couple left, then I go back to everyone in the party because there's always a couple customers that will only ever buy half off. Um, and you know, you don't want to give them a half off coupon. If someone just spent $45 or $50, you want to give them first dibs. So that's what I do, but you can certainly do it any way you like. If you were done, you can click begin checkout. This would be after the whole party's done, all the orders are submitted and paid for so that you know exactly how many credits the hostess has. And then if you're totally done, you can see here. So I have, here's our personal volume. This is the hostess order. So with the hostess order, it was $233 worth of product. And that's not including the value of the free hostess exclusives, um, but she got her $200 off. So she still pays shipping. She paid a little bit of tax. And so her total is $47.84. In order to put a payment in, you simply click payment. And then you can use a gift certificate. You can use your card that's on file. Or if they want to pay with credit card, they can do that as well. Most of my customers pay with electronic money transfer to me. And then I put it on my credit card. Um, but it's really up to them, whatever they want to do. So if I was going to put it on my card, I would just simply add that and I click save payment, which I'm obviously not going to do. If you did, you can click save and continue, and then it'll ask if you want to submit the party. If you submit the party, it means that party is entirely closed. It's completely done and you can move on to the next one. But don't submit the hostess order or the party until you're sure everything is finished. So it's always good to kind of look up here. And you can see that there's zero credits, there's zero exclusives, there are still two half price, and there is still a 60% off. And again, it's great to offer those back to your customers because it's kind of exciting too. It's like, hey, there's a half off, who wants it? And then people are like, ooh, I can get that purse I really like, or I can get that thermal I really like, and half off is always nice. And then you can see your party summary as well, right? Your personal volume is 1,066. And the insider reward base mount is just $8 less. And that's it. So hopefully that's helpful. I know there's a lot of information in there, but please feel free to come back and visit this or always reach out to me or whoever your upline is uh, for further guidance.